So whether you're doing this by yourself, as a team, or maybe as a joint venture, with a little bit of notice, this is always available to you. So, grab your favorite seafood shirt, pretend you're in Louisiana, grab a bib as well, because things are about to get a little messy. Whether you're a Vancouver local or visiting for the first time, if you want to try a large variety of local seafood cooked in a Louisiana style, boy, do we have the place for you. My name is Joel Hansen, and today we're here at the Holy Crab. And we're going to try the holiest of holy crab foods. It is the Monster Roll. A 36 inch roll filled with over five pounds of assorted seafood, including calamari, catfish, soft shell crab, Dungeness crab, shrimp, the list goes on. So without further ado, let's head on in, check out what this challenge is all about, and maybe we'll be saying holy crap by the end of it. So if you're ready to put that monster's appetite to the test, the monster roll is the dish for you. Teams of two can attempt the monster roll, where you have five minutes to eat it and complete it. If you complete it, you get the roll not only for free, but you also get $50 in gift cards. However, if you're crazy enough, like I am, here today, you can try the monster roll all by yourself. The 36 inch roll with over five pounds of seafood. However, if you can eat it by yourself in under 10 minutes, the roll is free and you get $100 in gift cards. So it's well worth the risk. And worst case, you pay $50. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, here with the world's largest seafood roll. So without a doubt, let's get to it. This is a team challenge generally. However, I'm gonna do this myself. So huge thanks first off to the Holy Crab for offering this great, delicious looking challenge. We're gonna start the timer here in just a moment and get on with it. All right, everyone, here we're gonna start in the count of five, four, three, two, one. Time's going. Hey everyone, welcome to today's challenge. The commentary is gonna be in the middle of the video, so be sure to check that out and get the inside scoop. But for now, enjoy.
All right, everyone, so now the inside scoop of this challenge. So, this challenge was one of the best tasting challenges one I've ever had, but definitely in a long time. I thoroughly enjoyed this challenge. It was so delicious. So I can't wait until I get to go back and do it again. Yes, I'm going to do it again. Is it because I didn't finish? Well, you'll have to keep watching. So the 10 minute time limit is pretty tight. However, the roll in the challenge is normally a lot softer, more towards like a bun or a hot dog bun. I did mine on short notice, so I ended up with a bit of a French baguette, which is a lot chewier. That being said, if you do the challenge, yours will be easier. And if you're in the area, I would absolutely recommend it. And honestly, at the price and for what you get, I would even potentially order it and just sit down and enjoy it. It was really, really good. At the end of the video, you are going to find some hilarious bloopers and you're going to get to watch me and my friend Liam run in the ocean in November. It was really, really cold. So, tune in, thanks for watching, and until next time, hopefully I finish. You'll have to watch and find out. Got <laughs>
hard to go wrong, and fresh seafood. So with that, everybody, thanks again. Until next time, happy eating. Energy in first. Hey, everyone. <laughs> yeah, cut. So whether you're a first-timer or a seafood aficionado, with the instructions right on the raw, right on the raw, so whether you're a first timer or a seafood aficionado, with the instructions right on the raw, right? Oh. Of course, now what we're here for today is the world's biggest seafood roll. A 36 inch roll weighing over five pounds containing seafood, calamari, containing seafood. <laughs> containing seafood. <laughs> So here we are, November 6th at Wreck Beach in Vancouver, British Columbia. Me and Liam have been in the Atlantic Ocean a number of times, however we have not been in the Pacific Ocean. So guess what we're doing? We're going in the water. It's probably about, maybe, I don't know what, 5 degrees down here? 5 Celsius, that's like maybe 40 Fahrenheit, so it's pretty cold. Got my little trunks, we're, uh, we're gonna go see what it's like. Check. Yeah, looks good. Alright, cool. here we go. Ah. Oh, no. oh, that is not warm. Awesome. Thanks so sure. much. I'm gonna stop. Truth be told, now that we're we're in the water and we're out, it's not that bad. It's pretty nice out. Now that water, oh my gosh. The water was cold. Right now it's okay. Like I'm in basically naked and it's quite comfortable, but woo! That water is cold, man. I didn't even jump in all the way. Liam went in, so. It's pretty nice out right now though. Yeah, and once you've been in that water, this is beautiful. And now that it's not raining, it's actually really beautiful. Look at that, there is the Vancouver skyline. So everybody, we're in Vancouver, first time in BC. It's nice, it's nice. The ocean, all the buildings, everything looks a little different. Here with my good friend, long time friend, Mr. Liam. What's up? You're gonna see him uh, in some of these videos here. So at that, we're gonna keep checking out what beautiful Vancouver has to offer. And then we're gonna go get some food. Imagine that. Ah!